Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class Daily Devotional for Saturday, September the 3rd. Wow, already September? It's awesome, awesome. Uh, hopefully the weather will start seeing that it's uh, September and be cooler outside. Anyway, this morning's topic uh, is going to be, uh, does God care about us? First verse this morning, 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And then, uh, a few other verses we're going to read. Uh, the first bullet point this morning is that God God knows our value, and he does because he created us. We find this in Matthew 10, 29 through 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Um, here Jesus uh, helps us to understand not only the infinite knowledge of God, but his infinite concern. If God cares for a tiny sparrow, he cares very much more for you and I. In fact, he cares uh, for you and I much more than you care about yourself. Think about that one for just a second. He even knows how many hairs are on your head. You neither know nor care, but God does. And he does. He knows everything about you, and he cares about everything that he knows. So some of us um, don't have quite as many hairs on our head, but God still knows how many there are, and he cares about them. Um, number two, God knows our needs. Uh, Matthew 6, 31 through 33. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, here Jesus assures us that God's concern for us is not limited to caring about our souls. He cares about our physical bodies as well, and he knows our every need, does he not? He knows that the needs of the soul are more important than the needs of the body, yet he also understands that the needs of the body are legitimate, and he takes responsibility for them. And he wants to put his kingdom, he wants, I'm sorry, he wants us to put his kingdom first and to worry less about our material needs because he's able to provide them. And he does, and he proves that day in and day out. God is concerned to ensure that there's always some way or another by which we can obtain what we need to live. At times, it may be meager, not as much as we could do with. At times, it may be abundant, much more than what we may, what we may want or need, but... We will never go long without the necessities of life because God cares. And last but not least, God hears our request. If we have our life lined up with him and we have no unconfessed sins in our life, God hears us. 1 John 5, 14 through 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, Pay attention to that according to his will, because that's important. He heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have petitions that we desired of him. This does not say that God will immediately grant every single request. That would be silly, because, because we could all ask God for a million dollars and immediately go find it in our bank accounts. Right? Right? We know that prayer and providence do not work like that. However, when it comes to genuine need, genuine needs, we can sometimes be blown away by a coincidence whereby a need is met in an unexpected and surprising way. Um, that that's happened to us recently, and it was it was quite amazing, and we continue to praise God every day for it. Uh, John assures us that God grants. Everything we ask, it is according to his will. The according to his will is the important part there. Of course, if our requests are not according to God's will, then they won't be granted. Uh, and sometimes they won't be granted when we think they should be granted. 
We know that it is God's will to provide our needs. Therefore, we pray, for example, give us this day our daily bread in Matthew 6, 11. When we're not sure about God's will, we can always make the request by saying, And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not thy will, not, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Matthew 26, 39. And when we get that far, we know that whatever God does then, it will be for our best. But even if we don't get that far, whatever God does is always for our best, amen, because God cares for us. And God always hears genuine prayers. May we, uh, we may not be confident that we ask right, but we can be confident in God. Okay? When you're talking to God, God knows what you mean. Okay? <clears throat> in other words, we don't have to be able to speak eloquently, like I certainly don't. Um, we don't have to be the smartest, but as long as our hearts lined up with, with God and we're asking according to his will, that we will, we will get what we ask for, right? And uh, we pray as we know best, um, and God answers as he knows best, because we don't always know what God knows, right? In fact, we don't. We don't know what God knows, only what he's told us in his word and what we've gathered from him in our time with him. And uh, the reason why I brought this message this morning is that um, a lot of times, especially, um, I mean, I hear it from believers too, but uh, a lot of times, especially people that don't know the Lord, they always talk about how God doesn't care about us because look at what, look at what the world's turned into. Well, you know what? God didn't do that because man has free will and he allows man to make his own choices. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you this morning. I thank you so much for watching. Um, and now I'm just going to close this out in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this time, for this medium that we have, Lord, just to uh, get a piece of your word out each and every day. We thank you for those that are watching. We thank you for any lives that may be touched or anything that's done as a result of this, Lord. Just you get all the honor and glory for it, Lord, for it's not us, but it's you talking through us. And we thank you for this opportunity. Lord, we just ask now that you go with us, guide us, and direct us. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. Thank you all for watching, and we'll talk again soon.